We are officially 16 days away from MLB The Show's 22 early access. April 1st, the game cannot get here soon enough. I cannot wait, but in today's video, we are going to talk about the best way to start no money spent in MLB The Show 22. As soon as you load up the game now, I will be doing a full series on MLB The Show 22 of no money spent when the game does come out. But today, we're going to go on 21 and take a look at some of the programs you should be jumping into right away. Just want to give you guys a quick preview of what to do. So if I don't get the video out right away, because I do have a lot of videos planned for day one especially you have a good idea what to do as soon as you load the game so if you're excited for this one do me a favor hit the like button hit that subscribe if you guys are new i would greatly appreciate it but without further ado hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get it Minica, watch me on Twitch. Ooh, I'm streaming. I'm on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Red button beaming. Let's get that sub count. Take over YouTube. Ooh, we teaming. My content so high. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Ooh, yeah, I'm steaming. Red button beaming. All right, so it's time to jump on to Diamond Dynasty here, and we are on the main screen of MLB The Show 21. And when you load up MLB The Show 22, there really is going to be a ton of things to do. But the first thing you're going to do is go into the tutorial for Diamond Dynasty. They're going to walk you through that, how to do your first mini collection, make your team jerseys, make your team names. We're not going to do that in this video, but when I do my real series for MLB The Show 22, no money spent, we will do that in that video. But then after you do that, you're going to come to the main screen of Diamond Dynasty, and it's going to be pretty similar to MLB The Show's 21 one menu here we're gonna have the home tab we're gonna have the play tab we're gonna have the collect tab and we're going to have the shop tab and we'll dive in a little bit to each one of those tabs in a second but the home tab essentially all you're really gonna have to do here is where you're gonna manage your squad put your full team together your hitters your pitchers your bullpen all that stuff then we have customize if you want to go back and edit your team jerseys you want to edit your team equipment you can do that you have standings and stats history I guess it's actually I never even really touched this I guess this is actually just for rank seasons battle royale if you want to check out your win loss so that doesn't really matter too much and then we have the inside edge and the roster update that's not really going to come into play the first day the game is out that's going to come into play when the game actually releases and the MLB season is going on for live series cards for updates for cards that go up in value go up in price go up in overall and go down in overall so we don't really have to worry about the home tab day one of no money spent the play tab is going to have a lot of stuff that we're going to talk about here we have a bunch of programs we have single player modes and we have online modes so we have the 11th inning program and will be the show 21 but when the real game comes out and will be the show 21 22. we're gonna have the first inning program we're gonna have team affinity we're gonna have daily moments we're gonna have player programs and we're going to have monthly awards but monthly awards don't come out until at least one month of the season has been completed so this won't be something we'll talk about in day one of diamond dynasty for mlb the show 22 then in the single player modes we're gonna have play versus cpu that is just a generic you versus the computer game and i honestly don't think that's worth it because you have other single player modes like moments showdown conquest and even extra innings that can get your award just by playing the computer so play versus cpu you really don't want to touch that then we have online modes we have ranked seasons we have battle royale and we have events then you have player versus fans and casual so those two things aren't going to give you any rewards but events battle royale and ranked seasons are going to be really really good for rewards but i honestly think for no money spent we kind of don't want to touch ranked seasons battle royale or events to begin the year we want to go into those probably a few days after we start getting our team together especially if you're going to go into ranked seasons and face some people that are going to spend money on the game and go and have god squads day one so you probably want to lay off on ranked seasons when it comes to battle royale there are good rewards to earn as I show you guys the battle royale program in MLB the show 21 you can earn a good amount of rewards in the battle royale program we have silver choice packs that go into collections like the Mariano Rivera collection we had in 21 Mookie Betts Ken Griffey Jr we're gonna have some gold choice packs as well and then as we get later on into the year they're even gonna give us diamond choice packs but these won't be available on day one you can earn yourself some ball as a habit packs though some stubs they have some players in this program as well some regular packs so there are a lot of things that you can earn in the battle royale program but it's it's going to be pretty sweaty day one people are going to try to go 12 and 0 because if you go 12 and 0 to begin the year you get a 90 plus overall live series player as well as the max battle royale reward so there is a lot of stuff to be made in battle royale but you have to be pretty good at the game to go 12 and 0 and get those really big rewards so i honestly wouldn't touch rank seasons battle royale or even events maybe events you could play depending on the reward but the best way you're going to be able to get the best no money spent team early on the year is going to be from the single player modes and the programs and the first thing i want to talk about in this video is actually going to be the program Programs and something super simple that you should be doing every day is your daily moments now you're going to see it's going to say the forever daily moment program but when we get to mlb the show 22 we are going to have the april daily moment program and this is something we'll do in my no money spent series for mlb the show 22 we're going to do this one every single episode every single day you have this little tier rankings list for the daily moments for the forever program it goes a long way before the month it's more than likely going to have 30 days for april and then at the end of the tier list we're going to get a pretty solid card i think gary sheffield was one of the early 
early on daily moments let me check he was for may and he was a 92 overall diamond and you only have to do one daily moment every single day and you have a three day span to actually complete these daily moments and then as you get up the tier rankings you could wind up getting that 92 overall gary sheffield or whoever they put out for april and may and diamond dynasty for mlb the show 22 you'll also be able to earn some packs some stubs there's a lot of good rewards in the daily moments and it's really simple probably would take you a few minutes every single day to do is don't forget to do your daily moments then we're going to go over some other moments in the single player modes tab but this is not going to be daily moments these are going to be the tops now moments now these tops now moments are going to be based out of the real mlb season whenever there's a cool moment a big three home run game a lot of strikeouts in a game an excellent save a long save or an iconic milestone moment they make it into a tops now moment so one of the first ones we had for mlb the show 21 was when miguel cabrera hit that home run in the snow on opening day which is a really cool moment in the 2021 season they put together let's see how many tops now moments five of these tops now moments they're very very simple hit one home run tally three hits tally two runs batted in tally four total bases super simple to do and this is it for the entire week and then after you do that you're going to earn yourselves a tops now pack but as we get further on into the season they're going to release higher tops now overall cards because the cards in the game are getting better so they want to go with that for the tops now as well and then these also come into play for those monthly awards that i talked about earlier once the first month of the season is over once april is done they are going to come out with an april player of the month program which we'll dive into in mlb the show 22 when that game actually comes out and the monthly program is about to come out but you want to have all these tops now cards because there's going to be a collection every single month where you have to put all the tops now cards from april from may from june into that collection if you want to unlock all those player of the month cards and those are super easy to get as long as you have the tops now moments cards and they're really good cards as well now i'm not going to cover everything in this video because it would just be too long that's what we're doing a series and the full game does come out so make sure you're looking forward to the first episode of no money spent that will come out day one of mlb the show 22 and we're going to take it program by program in that series i'm going to show you guys exactly what i'm doing for the no money spent team but what i do want to talk about now is a few more programs and one more single player mode and there is no better program in diamond dynasty money spent no money spent doesn't matter than team affinity if you are not familiar with team affinity it's going to start off with team affinity season one and every team is going to get one overall card and for the first season they're all going to be the same overall and will be the show 21 they were all 88 overall cards for the nl central we had jason hayward Luis castilla keston hiera cabrian hayes jack flyer they were all 88 overall cards and they are super easy to get and not only are you going to get some of these 88 overall cards that can easily go onto your day one god squad roster but you're also along the way going to get packs like you did in daily moments you're going to get flashback legends that are going to help with collections you're going to get stubs there are so many benefits to doing the team affinity and you're also going to get some silver and bronze packs those are going to come into play for the live series collection you're going to get some bowl on as a habit packs as well team affinity is by far the best program in the game there is a ton of different ways to actually complete team affinity as well and you need to be focusing on this day one you have to get some of these team affinity cards to start off your team especially if you want to jump into online games you have missions you have moments you have a conquest which we're going to talk about in a second you have march to october you have collections and you have exchanges i think exchanges are the fastest way to do team affinity they were the fastest way last year at least to get started if you do all of these exchanges you are going to start off with one free team affinity season one player as long as they keep it the way it was last year which i'm pretty sure they are going to do i doubt they change it too much so exchanges are essential it's super easy to do all you have to do is exchange i'm going to give you guys an example here we need 75,000 points worth of exchanges to get ourselves 15 points on the team affinity radar now i have all these cards already so it's not going to give me any xp but i just want to show you guys how easy it really is like a 78 overall silver is going to get you a 4,000 exchange value and as we get to a low gold card if we can get down here a low gold card willie adamas will get me 6,000 exchange points so you want to go out and you want to buy some of the cheaper silvers and golds on the market and you want to exchange these guys as quickly as possible that's going to help you get one free team affinity player and the first one is always the hardest to get in every division they start off at 60 team affinity points after that it's every 30 or 20 points of intervals so you'll see the second player you get at 90 the third one you get at 110 and then after that it's 130 and 150 so once you get that first 60 that is super super easy you do the hardest part and then after that you're going to get players pretty often in the same division then we have moments you can do if you want to snag yourself some quick points for the team affinity program i'd probably stay away from the moments because i think there's a faster way and a better way to do this and that's actually going to be doing it in conquest now we're going to go over to conquest in the single player modes and the reason why i suggest doing conquest because when you do this you can actually plug in players let's say we're doing the nl central you can take players on the cubs the pirates the reds the brewers you can put them into a lineup and go into these conquest games 
and really knock out two things at once. You can go into a Team Affinity Conquest if you really want to, or if there's better rewards in a different Conquest, you can jump into that one. Keep that roster, and as you get plate appearances, as you get hits, as you get RBIs, as you get home runs, you are going to start to rank up your Team Affinity and get those missions done, and also grind out the Conquest, get yourself some hidden packs, because we haven't talked about Conquest yet. Conquest is a very easy concept to grasp. All you have to do is take your territory and conquer the entire map, complete these goals along the way, and you're going to earn packs, you're going to earn stubs, you're going to get hidden rewards, you're going to get hidden players, all that good stuff in Conquest, which is super, super nice for no money spent. So all you have to do is take these enemy strongholds, play them in a three inning game against the computer, take that lineup, which comes back to Team Affinity of the full NL Central cards, and do that for every single division as you're playing through Conquest and get the RBIs up, get the hits up, get the plate appearances up, and you're really going to get two things done at once, which is going to be really, really nice for no money spent. They have great rewards in Conquest and obviously great rewards in Team Affinity. The last thing we'll talk about in this video for the best way to start Diamond Dynasty No Money Spent is going to be the first inning program right now in MLB The Show 21. Obviously, it's not the first inning. It's the 11th inning, but the first inning program is great for other reasons like Team Affinity, like Conquest. You're going to get some free packs, and as you're playing through everything in the game, you are going to earn XP. The more games you play online, the single player games, the Conquest, you're going to earn XP going into the first inning program, and the reason why you want to get to the first inning program is because you want to get the first inning boss pack. These were the first inning bosses for MLB The Show 21, Fernando Valenzuela, Mike Piazza, Kenny Lofton, a free 90 plus diamond to get into your God Squad roster day one, or if you want to sell them on the market, you can do that too. They're probably going to go for a good amount at the beginning of the year as people try to get them, and then obviously, like I said, you're going to get packs, you're going to get other rewards as you complete the first inning program, and again, we will dive into it completely when the full game does drop for MLB The Show 22. Okay, everyone, so that is going to do it for the best way to start Diamond Dynasty. No money spent day one. If you enjoyed the video and you found it useful, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. The grind is going to be real when MLB The Show 22 does come out. I have so many video ideas planned for you guys, including the No Money Spent series. So make sure to stay tuned for that one and follow me on my social links, which are on the screen for you all right now. But that's good for me today, everyone. See you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.